Hello, today we're going to make a beef and noodle mushroom bake and it's going to be really easy to throw together. First you're going to want to boil the water and we'll get the ground beef going here. You're going to want about a pound. We're going to set the oven at 350 to get that preheated. As soon as the water is boiling, we'll start adding the noodles. We're going to put in two cups of egg noodles. And then we're going to give that a little bit of a stir here. We're going to take the ground beef and drain it. And just set it here to the side for a minute. We're going to chop up some onion, about a half of an onion. And put that in with the meat. Gonna drain our noodles. We're gonna go back over to the ground beef and the onions. We're gonna add a little minced garlic. We're gonna stir that up and heat it up. Cook those onions a little bit. Then we're going to go ahead and put this all together. We're going to put the noodles in, the meat mixture, and then we're going to cook some mushrooms up in the same pan that we cooked the meat in. I used about a cup and a half maybe of mushrooms. We're just going to put those in on top. Add a can of cream of mushroom soup. We're going to add sour cream to your taste. You can add anywhere up to a cup. I'm only going to put in a couple tablespoons because I have people in my household that won't like it if I put too much sour cream in. Then we're going to put in a half a cup of beef broth. Gonna go ahead and add a little Worcestershire, about a tablespoon. And then we'll go ahead and add the salt and pepper. And give this a good stir. We're going to grease a 9 by 13 pan and we'll go ahead and put the mixture inside of the pan. You're going to make sure it's spread out all evenly and then we're going to put about a cup of cheese on the top. You can use cheddar like I did or it'd probably be good with some pepper jack. We're going to put that in our 350 degree preheated oven. And it's going to cook for 30 minutes. So we'll set the timer here. And when that's done, you can see it's a nice golden brown with the cheese on the top. And this is what it looks like on my plate. This was very good. And we will be making it again. It's similar to a beef stroganoff. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now.